Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to share with you building some 3D printed models. Assembling figures, basing figures, removing 3D printed models for assembly from their support, putting them together like a model kit. Some of the figures, miniatures, soldiers, only require to be based up. Some need to be assembled. Have their legs and torsos put on, their heads, their weapons or arms. Some are already good to go. They just need basing. Six millimeter panhard from Micro Armor Wargaming. I have several forces I want to make for Micro Armor. This little tank here, Micro Armor Tank, is an M41 American Bulldog. Light tank used by the American Army for about a decade. Early, uh, early to late 50s, early 60s. And I believe it may still be in use in some armies throughout the world, but not in America. So, six millimeter anti tank guided missile team. Another pan heart. It's not a good base for this fella. I think maybe this one. Yeah, it looks pretty good there. Let's try that. Have you tried 3D printing your own figures yet? If so, comment down below and tell me what you think. I used to print a lot of my figures in a FDM. Like on this rotating dais over here, we have this Valhalla Guard and this Chaos Cultus. Those were FDM prints. I'll show you. So you can see the little rag there from the support material. It's still a good print. And of course, being a chaos cultist, you know, scars from print supports just add to him. Now we'll take a look at the Valhalla Guard. This model was designed by Reptilian Overlords. It's a great looking model. Even for an FDM printer. This was printed on an Ender 3 printer. So was the Chaos Cultus. But the rest of the prints you see on the table today, with the exception of the Hover Bike Rider and this IS-2 tank, were all resin printed. So, let's start building. Some figures you can print out all together. I made this figure for my son in his sci-fi war gaming that he does. Actually, I think it's either playing Starfinder. He likes space opera cowboy type stuff. Alright, next up, Cyberpunk Soldier. This was designed by the art of Mike. He needs his backpack put on. So let's hook him up.
There we go. Got him back. Got his backpack put on him. We'll get him based up shortly. We'll go ahead and set him down. Let that backpack dry up. Next up, this uh, Imperial Stormtrooper Commando. This was designed by Maddox. Still, ooh, there's some supports in there I didn't see. I should have had those took off before I cured the model. Always, if you're 3D printing or new to it, always remove your supports prior to curing. They're a lot easier to get off that way and there's less chance of damaging your model. I mean, I missed a lot of supports on this guy. That's okay. He's my model. An old team of these I'm going to print up. Print up and paint up. There's some uh, toy photography. All right, let's pick out a base for him. I think he'll look good on this base. Yeah. Let's stick him to it. In a future video, I plan to do, um, excuse me, I plan to show you some painting. How I like to paint my models, my war game figures, my toy soldiers, my plastic soldiers. I've already shown you one on how I paint my army men. If you've not seen that, you can look through my channel. Maybe I'll put a link up here. That backpack looks like he's still good and solid. So let's go ahead and put him on a base. Maybe this one right here. That'd probably be a good base for him. Do you use a lot of 3D printed models in your war game war bands and armies? If so, comment down below. Tell me what you do. Maybe you just use bits to customize your Existing figures, I do that too. You're gonna need some help standing up. So we're gonna take this fella here, and then we're gonna put that sword right there. And see, everybody needs a little help from time to time. Yeah, in the painting video, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna paint this space marine here. He's a collection of various bits. His torso is a GW torso. No, I'm sorry, I misspoke. His torso... Yeah, I think that's right. His torso is a GW torso. And then the rest are prints. His base belonged to a fantasy figure that um, was printed onto the base. It was designed that way. But he didn't print out right. So I broke him off and kept the base and then several months later found a good use for it. The Space Marine fit perfectly on it. He's a uh, Templar, a Knight Templar of the uh, Order of the Alabaster Angel which is why he has some Dark Angel livery and the Black Templars. So he's a home custom chapter. Knights of the Alabaster Angel. Knights of the Temple of the Alabaster Angel. 
It'll be a kill team or combat uh, patrol, patrol unit. And as I mentioned before, I don't play the 40k rules much, how they're written. I play one page rules sometimes. I play a grid based version of 40k that I like a lot. Different things. And that's okay. And on rare occasion, I do play 40k. The new 9th edition. That'd be a good base for him. This is a cyberpunk soldier designed by Cyberforge Minis, which is the sci fi branch of Titanforge Minis. And I'll put a link to their Patreon down below. Let's put him on that base. And once I have a full squad of these printed up, I plan on doing a painting video on them too. This is a German motorcycle rider. 132 scale. Let's see if he fits on his bike. Yeah, he does. Hands don't quite go down far enough, do they? Maybe I'm putting him on wrong. I don't know. Let's try this one. Let's see what we get. Nope, I don't think he fits there either. He definitely don't go in there. May have printed the wrong model, thinking it was the, these seating guys were for the motorcycle. I mean, he kind of looks like he should be riding a motorcycle, right? But he don't go in there. Hmm. I'll have to go on that Patreon and leave some comments. These are designed by Art of War. Maybe ask some questions like, hey, what's going on with these guys? Well, for now, let's hit the motorcycle back over there, along with this fella here, too. And there's their heads. Alright, next up, this is a Space Nam. Hero Guard Catacan. Let's go ahead and put him together. And as you can see by the colors of the resin, I use two different resin printers. But he needs a different base though than what I've got here. So I have to pause and go get him a base. Alright, I'm back. I went and got a handful of my bases and uh, brought them in. Also, while I was going through my bases, I found an objective marker that I had got mixed up in them. You know, it's kind of round like a base. It's a pile of skulls with some swords and shields in there. And as you can see, this is an FBM print. And this particular model was designed by a Patreon artist named Big Mr. Tom. And I'll put a link to his Patreon down below. He always does amazing work with skeletons. Anyway, put him up. So, let's find our base we're going to use. Ooh, I like that one. We're going to use it for our Katakan Space Non Jungle Fighter. And after I prime him, I can repaint that green. Now, I know some of y'all might not build your models this way. Maybe you paint each piece and put it together. I don't know. I'm, I'm not that way. I, I don't like to paint what I can't see. So I put my models together and then I paint them. Let's see. 
think that's got a little piece I need to file off. So I'm gonna grab my my handy dandy little handy dandy little hobby file. Give him a little go over. And blow some of that dust off. Alright, now we're gonna let that dry to the base before we try to finagle his arms on there. Let's put his head over here too. Next up, I made a helicopter. Can you can you tell what kind of helicopter this is? What this belonged to? There's another support piece I've got to get off. That's okay. I ain't gonna make nobody happy but me. Look at that. That fits on there good. And then this is his blade. Rotor blades. Now those don't look like they were designed right. They don't look like it fits on there good. But we can make it work. Let's start off with the base. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day, wherever you're at. Whether you're crafting or working or just, or just taking it back, taking it easy. Chilling, as they say. You know what? You know the model for this. Comment down below. Tell me what it is. Or what you think it is. Let's turn him around and see how you look. Looks pretty good. Now, what do you think? You think I should reprint this blade? Make it bigger? Maybe and this need probably needs to be an FDM print. So I have a little more flexibility and not be so rigid like a resin print here. That don't look right. Looks a little short too. Don't, don't quite look long enough. It may be. But I, I think I want it longer. Even if it's longer than the original. That's okay. Because 3D printing is all about what you want. Scale it, size it up, make whatever you want to make. That's the wonderful thing about 3D printing. And as you've seen in some of my other videos, I make my Warhammer figures and then whatever scale and size I want. Alright, we got another side of a trooper here. Now he can go on a smaller base. So, maybe one of these. Yep. My miniature games that I play for Skirmish, not really base dependent, especially shooter games. Ooh, here we go. I think I like that. Got a grid pattern there. I don't know if y'all saw that fly fly by. I live in Arkansas. Sometimes if I get thirsty, I just go outside, take a deep breath, and I ain't thirsty no more. Here we go with another Cyber Forge, Cyberpunk Warrior. I like that knife. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I plan to use these for some Star Grave, which is the uh, sci-fi variant of Frost Grave, popular rule set. I also play Star Breach. And one page uh, war game rules. If you've not heard of them, I'll put a a link down below in the description for their Patreon. You can get you some cool models as well as some cool rules. But of course, the best rules to play by are the ones you make yourself. 
here we go. Here's something for y'all to look at. It's a 172 scale German Fallschirmjäger sniper. I'm gonna have a little force in a special video to show y'all on these. We'll put them over here for now. Go ahead and slide him on out the way. Move our helicopter out the way. Maybe let's do another tank. A little piece of support material we need to kind of clip off. Uh-oh, we done hit 20 minutes. All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I just thought maybe some of y'all would like to see 3D models before they're put together and painted. And as you can see here, we got an issue there. There's something causing that not to go in. Maybe we try one of these other turrets. Our first one went in, no problem. Oh, look at that. That broke him. That's okay. As a 3D printer, I can make more. Alright, well thank y'all for watching. I'll have some more videos later to show you like these here where you pull the sports off, make your own model kit, put them together. We'll have some painting videos coming up of a Space Marine and some other figures. Thank y'all for watching. If you can, please leave me a simple like and subscribe for more Plastic Soldiers. You have a great day.